Hey there, so I'm um, going switch up my recording here. I'm going to be using XSplit uh, today, so let's see uh, how that does for us. So let's see what's going on here. Usually I use fraps. So we got a whole bunch of gems. One of the gems that we got was actually a, a large stack of gems from logging in a whole bunch. <laughs> oh, God, I didn't get a ton of gems from logging in, apparently. <coughs> and then just some basic gems from the day stuff, so... We got a lot of gems to play with. Oh, yeah, and it's tempting to use them. It's also tempting to save them. Once again, we run into another conundrum, or a little bit of a what to do, what to do. And uh, the question here today is, should we save up and go for the fifth builder? That is a good question, because we will be able to then uh, start progressing fastly with our building. All of our stuff will move along quicker with that. Which it was, that's a good thing. <laughs> Otherwise, additionally, we could just try and go for some hero rolls. And hero rolls, obviously, we could then get rid of some of these heroes that are not holding their weight as much. Potentially. Potentially. Of course, with gem rolls comes the risk of getting Jack Diddly Squat. <laughs> So, um, hmm. uh, yeah, uh, both are valid, both are valid, one's more risky than the other, obviously doing gem rolls, you run the risk of nothing, <laughs> you run the risk of just getting nothing. While going the builder route, you guarantee that you're able to move things along faster. Now, the other ones... The other builder steps have been much easier to make the choice because the, the gem requirement was much smaller. Now you have to save up to 2,000 gems to get that. 2,000, so... Yeah, it's a bit away. Uh, I don't know. Mm. And now you can also see my mouse so you guys can see what I'm thinking about, what I'm doing. You guys uh, like that addition. Otherwise, I could take away the mouse uh, since I'm on the computer playing. So, a little itty bitty mouse because I play on a fairly large monitor. So, uh, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Um, there's some thought. Getting our. that up. Okay, so. Yeah, so tempting. It really is tempting. I don't feel like waiting that long to get to a, a fifth builder. A fifth builder isn't truly necessary. It does help, though, but it's not truly necessary. I think we can get away without it. Let's just hope and pray for another good legendary. I, Even a ninja would be fine. It's not the greatest, but... Yeah. We're really hoping for like a Immortep or a Reaper, or even a Snowy. Snowy can do good here too, or a Cupid. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm terrified of doing these rolls. I don't know. Uh, no, please. <sighs> Assassin, Serving Queen. Ninja? <laughs> I said ninja earlier, that's why I jinxed myself to that. Oh. It's not horrible, it's like the at the bottom of my totem pole. It's obviously better than the Lanacor for damage. But it's at the bottom of my totem pole. I should have went to the top. Got me a Cupid instead. <laughs> Uh, beggars can't be, you know, choosers, rawr. Well, I guess we got a ninja. Now, um, in the past, like, a self-destruct ninja would be really awesome, but now it's not really worth it as much as self-destruct ninja, so what I would probably prefer is a berserk ninja, or a ninja that has something that stops it from dying, like a, like a, a resurrection would be really nice to be able to resurrect. So that that that's what I'm hoping for. Let's see if it got anything actually useful. 
A berserk. It's okay. It's a low-level berserk, but still a berserk nonetheless. So I will take it. It will uh, do more damage. So it's not horrible. It's not horrible. It's usable. Now, Lanacor. Now... I still see Engineer is more useful than Atlanticorp, but it's, it's teetering right there. That line is very thin, because um, Engineer does pull its weight in DPS, but is very prone to death. And his damage is getting less significant as we go along. We're already up to E. Usually, somewhere around D or E, on my other tunes, I've gotten rid of Engineer. Usually, when I start trying F, I get rid of Engineer. That's my what I found in the past. That's worked for me. Um, that's why I'm teetering on which one to get uh, rid of and start leveling. So, yeah. Ah, decisions. Ugh. <laughs> If I if I would have gotten a Reaper, or a Immortep, or a Cupid, or a Snowzilla, I would have just gotten rid of uh, potentially Lanacore, and then when I started doing F, I would actually probably put a Lanacore back in if I didn't get another Legend by then, and I would get rid of a uh, Engineer. So yeah, that's just that's what we're looking at. So some of the thoughts here. But Ninja is nice. I'm not going to diss Ninja. Ninja is fine. <coughs> Ninja isn't the greatest for Hibby Monsters, but it's it's a decent starter one for Hibby Monsters because Ninja is pretty good at Dino, really taking out Dino quickly. And Ninja is not completely useless on the other waves. Like, Alana, of course, useless until the final wave. While Ninja is actually still pretty good in the initial waves at taking out other heroes. Um, especially you stacked up with our good old uh, Pumpkin Duke here. Ninja can just, like, go wild, crazy style. So he'll run around, zip around, and stab everything. So we're okay, we're okay. It's not horrible. Uh, we could throw him into a tower and get him up that way as well. And he has a Berserk, so he's not horrible. He's a little bit lower, lower level of Berserk, so it's obviously it's not going to be as... As destruction orientated, but it's you know 10%. That's still 10% faster swinging, especially when you got the uh, additional buff there coming in from Pumpkin Duke and the stacks of. You'll be running around slashing up everything. Oh, <coughs> now, hmm. I think we well, I think we should still get uh, this guy up further and not focus so much on getting Ninja's ability up yet eventually we will I still want because Pumpkin Duke is going to affect everyone and also giving uh, stacks to himself so that getting him up is still going to be our priority so why don't we actually just get a few of these too and just uh, get that going start it you know what I mean Alright, so we got these. We might as well see what we got for their talents on these other ones, just for giggles. Let's see what we rolled, if there's anything decent. A revite? <laughs> A revite? Man, we're rolling some revites. <coughs> and what's that final one? Scorch. That's a pretty talent. So let's uh, sacrifice them up. And... Uh, yeah, about halfway there. Yay! Once Pumpkin Duke is out fully up there, man, I can just... Uh, the power that he's going to bring us. We're going to be doing some damage. Alright, so... Uh, I think we're going to, for the time being, just level uh, Ninja in the tower. <coughs> Ninja really sucks at raiding. Everyone knows this. Ninja is not a raider. He's, when he goes raiding against other people, he likes to die. That's what he's known for, death. He goes croak often. Now, we got a few things here to think about uh, <coughs> since last time we were in. 
<coughs> we got uh, three builders available to us. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We got that going. I think we're going to do another Manavolt. And that uh, Manavolt is obviously going to get us up to the next level where we can then start spending all the mana on our heroes again, getting those all upgraded. Then what else should we spend it on? What else should we spend it on? I think we should spend it on a Go Volt again. Get that going to the higher levels. Because uh, if we get that Go Volt up, I believe it gives us 50,000. Yes, it does. And that would get us to the point where we can get this up to Tower 8. So we should spend that. And then we should get gold for here. And then that last one, I really, 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 really would love to get one of these two up, if we possibly can. That's what I would love. If we can't, it's fine to get this up. To obviously, we don't want our heroes taking forever to respawn. <coughs> so that's what we're looking at here. That's what we're looking at. So let's uh, get to it, right? Maybe, maybe we should do it. Get going. So let's uh, get a little attacking underway. Uh, we can start getting magic as well at this point. We're about at the point where we can get a, um, a relic hall up and running, I'm thinking. And it wouldn't hurt us too much with might. Now, we are going to jump in might because we got a ninja. So we got to factor that into our, our little equation. So we might hold off on relic because we've got a ninja. Either that, or we'll get rid of our uh, blue. <sighs> our shaman. We'll see. Depends upon how, we, how we're doing. If we're having problems farming gold, well, you know what we're going to do. We're going to uh, kill something off. Man. Getting more powerful. Okay, we have 50%. We can back out. And back out. The heal didn't reach over there to our... Uh, Thunder God. So, what do you guys like? Do you guys like seeing the mouse? Let me know. This is a. I can most likely get rid of the mouse as well, so you don't see it. <coughs> I'm just trying some new things. So, if you guys want uh, that, I can with XSplit. I can uh, get more videos out quicker. Uh, they're also smaller files, so I can upload them much much faster. And I can also do live streaming. And I upgraded my ISP as well, so I'm up to the highest tier in my uh, area, so I can do live streaming as well. Uh, so, it's just a thought. See if you guys like this, or if you guys would like to have more interaction, where we could do some live streaming, and you guys can say, hey, attack this, do this. But I wouldn't do it uh, for <coughs> the How-To Guide series. I wouldn't... Uh, had that one be as interactive, I'd have it more on my main account. <coughs> or maybe on this, maybe. We'll see. I do have uh, a Twitch account. I've had one for a while. For, uh, I had it back in the days of World of Warcraft. Okay, we don't want him to die. Thank you. Uh, Gonna have to end this. Don't want Thunder God to die. We got enough gold, so we're fine. Alright. Getting close to that. Switched up my coffee brand today, man. It's drying up my throat quite a bit. A lot of phlegm to it. Alright, so what are we doing here? for gold. Someone's got to have lots of gold. I'm so used to my other accounts just seeing things with 200 or 300k gold. <coughs> Coming on this lower one, I'm like, ugh, no one has enough gold for me. So, how are you guys uh, farming? Coming along, you guys uh, farming pretty well? You guys have any issues with getting gold or mana? 
I'm going to start doing something with my uh, Smurf where I'm going to purposely leave it uh, open to the public to hit it as many times as you like. Not this Smurf, my other Smurf. So I'm going to put out a small video uh, tomorrow or today on my Smurf where you can get lots of gold just attacking my Smurf. And yeah, attack it over and over again. Just don't go for the uh, full... Uh, don't kill my pumpkin duke. Thank you. <laughs> So, yeah, I'll let you guys attack my Smurf and get lots of gold. So, I'll try and fill it up throughout the day uh, with some gold and come back into it. But uh, what you do is uh, I'll have all the gold volts in the top corner, like up here. And all you got to do is just attack them all the way through and get all the gold and then just leave. You will take a hit, a small hit on HB. So, I think it's like 10 HB per loss. So, but I believe... Uh, if if you're like one of the first people attacking, I think you get like 92k gold each time that you specifically select my uh, Smurf and attack it. So that's a lot of gold. So you can get like almost 100k gold each time that you uh, attack it. Which means you can uh, get to your whatever you need to uh, build or farm fast. And that's for the people that are having issues with uh, gold or mana farming. I'm going to do that for you guys as a little bonus. So if you guys like it, Go for it. Attack it. I will uh, hopefully... You'll probably see that video before you see this one. This one... Well, they're both going to not be that large a file, so they're going to be uh, fairly quick for you guys to open up, so... Looking at the size... So, more gold farming? More? No, we got that. So, we just got one last thing to build up, which is... that. So, we need enough golden mana to... Do our E attempts. <coughs> and hopefully we're going to be pretty good at E today. Let's find out. That's going to be happening shortly. Yeah, that one's going to take too much time to go through. Ooh, look at the gold in this one. It is segmented from side to side, but I am willing to take the time to make it from one end to the other. I see no reason not to get all that gold. That is a good amount for me. So now you guys can actually see more, I believe, of my thoughts when you, when I've been talking in the past. I've actually been <laughs> pointing my mouse in that area, but with fraps I had the mouse capture off. But this time I'm turning it on because I think I want you guys need even more information to see exactly what I'm concentrating and focusing on. And then I can point out certain things with the uh, pointer. But maybe it's distracting, maybe not seeing that mouse. We'll see. You guys going to have to let me know if it's good or bad, if I should get rid of the mouse or keep it. Or you guys should tell me if you liked it better when I was doing fraps versus uh, xsplit. So, this is the uh, first one I'm showing with xsplit. xsplit's just going to be faster. I, ha I have both, and so... Usually I like the quality more on fraps, but uh, I've got some additional drivers in uh, Xplit has been updated quite a bit, and it seems the quality is bit, quite a bit better. Of course, Xplit is uh, much heavier on the graphic card, the graphics cards. <laughs> but I do have a uh, some decent graphics cards, so it's not a problem for the most part. Other than the fans do, and them do kick up a bit more. Alright, so we have a good chunk of gold, but I'm just going for a little bit more. I just want to be a smidge more greedy. Because you don't always get uh, gold from farming E or D. Just a little bit more. Ooh, oh, that's delicious. Look at the heroes that are defending that. Look at that. Just look at them. They're very low level. It's going to be... Oh, it's going to be good. So Ninja is going to provide us with uh, an additional DPS boost, which is, you know, <coughs> one of the things that we were talking about that we needed. It's not going to be a massive DPS boost. It's going to be a, a DPS boost. A massive one would have been an AoE. AoE is always preferred. So, like I said, if we would have got Snowy, Immortep, Reaper, Cupid, anything like that, we would have been like, Mm, that would have been awesome. 
that we'd be rocking and making it to G in no time. But with what we're going to have, it's going to help us move and transition to F. To G, it's going to slow us down a little bit. But it's you know you can still do G with you know Ninja. It's just it takes a bit more effort. But eventually I think we will uh, sideline uh, Ninja, and we'll shard farm up to a Reaper or shard farm up to an Immortep. So don't worry, don't worry. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, so we have enough gold to be happy, I believe. Let's just get uh, these guys trained up so we can start doing some ease. And I think it'll be good. And I think we'll be okay. We'll be alright. And soon enough we're going to be having uh, that town hall at a higher level. So that's just going to be craziness. They're no longer going to attack from the side, so we'll be alright. All right. Okay. So obviously we're still concerned about over here, and we'll take care of it. We'll take care of it. All right. I'm thinking we should just do some ease. Should be good. Kraus fungus. Okay. We always hate this group of uh, griffins. They annoy us. And of course, Engineer doesn't like targeting them. Never does. Oh, he did at the end. <laughs> okay, so we're revited up on these three. So, Thunder God, Pumpkin Duke, and Druid. Looking good. All right, Alanacor, eh. but obviously Alanacor is not going to do much damage for us. But take a look at our little uh, troops here; they're coming in doing a little extra damage too, just a smidge of damage. But hey, every little bit counts. Oh, but it was an exploding something. Something went. <laughs> we'll self-destruct on it. That's fine. But our two towers did survive those initial hits, so we're okay so far. E4 is going to be a slight issue, maybe. That tower is looking like it's taking some damage, but we are taking out the heroes very quickly, so we're good. <coughs> Definitely good. Alright, here's our additional wave of griffins coming in. They're going to be uh, hitting that tower hard. Hopefully Engineer ignores stupid... Okay, go. Go over here. Go over here. Good. 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 Do it. He popped over there. Not on the griffins. But the tower stops, so we're fine. We're revited up on Pumpkin Duke and Druid. And the other ones are fairly well revited as well. Uh, fairly good chance, but this tower is going to drop really fast, which is why Atlanta Court is going to be useful here, hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, nope, he's going to allow everyone else to take the aggro. But he was stunned. <coughs> it, it was pretty awesome that uh, their dino got stunned. What? Oh, we got to a next rake of might, apparently. So we're going to do a little bit better in... Uh, <laughs> we're going to be a little higher uh, might now because we're leveling our, uh, remember I said 5,200 before for F? We're going to be a little higher now because we're leveling our ninja. But, uh, because we're also leveling ninja, we're going to be pushing and farming F sooner. So it's not a horrible thing, getting that additional might. Of course we could get rid of uh, that, so just a thought, just a thought. It's not gonna 
be too much concern. Ninjas definitely help us with uh, our arena. So we're going to be doing better with arena because of ninja later on. <coughs> That's where uh, ninja can excel at. Of course succubus is better though. Alright, so let's get our bombs out and start uh, moving along with that. Moving along. We also had a good chunk of people attack us last time uh, after we put up the last video. <laughs> it was fun though. Let's see if they're st oh, they got rid of them. That was three days ago. Yeah, there's a whole bunch. But apparently history is wiped for some odd reason. So, there it is. I guess I was going to try and show you the history. But let's show you uh, where we are on the tree today. So we are the... 87001 for the page. Right there. If you want to attack me, go ahead. I don't care. I am all in favor of it. I like uh, a challenge. But of course, if you're in my might range, uh, it, it is funny seeing some like 100 level 120s or 150s roll through. But yeah. Try and do it if you're in my might range. If you're higher than my might range, it's fine. Go ahead. Go for it. I encourage you guys. Alright, back to attacking. Are we good on everything? Are we the troops? Yeah. A few seconds away from being full up. Alright, let's get the bombs out. Got everything. That one troop isn't going to matter too much. One victory so far, so I really don't like it when that spawns are there. That particular spawn point is nasty for the first one because for some odd reason, well not odd reason, I know why, they all come and revite it up and they're just, we don't do enough damage to get them down before they hit that tower. And with all their heroes being revited up and the griffins on it, they do a lot more damage than I'd like to and they almost always destroy that tower. We want that tower up. That's a bad spawn point. For uh, the first or second spawn point, I don't want it to ever spawn there. <coughs> Just my opinion. Once again, they're coming on pretty hard again. Oh, very close on that one. That tower's got a very sliver, sliver, sliver on it. It's, uh, it'll be okay, it'll be okay. We'll be alright. It is going to work, it's going to work. Of course, they're doing too much. Oh, they took out Thunder God. That's, that's painful. Painful to watch. They killed Thunder God, which really puts us at the disadvantage there. Oh, bad spawns can hurt in these uh, waves, obviously. Oh. Once you get above D, or I think even D itself, D and higher can sort of be affected by bad spawns. G is really affected by spawns. H, I, J, those are extremely <laughs> picky towards spawn locations. So the higher you go, the more spawns become important. And you have no control over spawns. No control. And that's a horrible spawn, too. They're most likely going after Druid. Trick is, can we get... Lanacor to be the one they go to next? And the answer is no. It was not Lanacor. Oh. Surprisingly close for not having a Thunder God, though. We should have not survived that long. 
Thunder God, do not die. Okay? <laughs> uh, that's because that tower only had like a sliver on it. Bad spawns. But that's fine. Once we get the towers up higher, the, they'll have a sliver less often. And it'll be less of an issue. That's why getting those up part of your core buildings is important. I can't say that often enough. Core buildings are important. Core buildings. Core buildings. Get them up. Get them up. Get them up. And of course, Town Hall. So, I think we got everything out. Uh, we can go without uh, having a full camp. It's not massively important. It is helpful, but it's not uh, a game changer. It only adds a small percentage to the chance for victory. But then again, min-maxing is the thing, so... Alright, I'm okay with a spawn down there. I just need Engineer to scoot his butt over here to them, and he is. So potentially we're doing good. <coughs> and they had an exploder as well. A little self-destruct. I think they're going up for Engineer, so that was a bad spawn potentially. It's either Engineer or that Gold Vault. Which one? I don't know. Go Vault, but that Go Vault is going to drop fast, and there you're going to target something. Nothing if everything dies. <laughs> but, now spawn over on this corner is going to be really deadly for us. Because we don't have anything over here anymore to take the aggro. Unless the Lana is walking his butt over here and takes the aggro for us. Ooh, that tower's gonna drop. But we're revited up on our man, we losing lots of buildings here. <clears throat> I don't think they're doing enough damage to take down that tower. I think that tower's gonna... well, maybe not. Yeah, yeah, it's still up. Okay. Um, we're okay, depending on the spawn location. I'm fine with that location. Um, the only issue that I have is Lanacor is gonna go off early. And not be as useful as he should be. But, you know, that's Lanacor. Lanacor doesn't like going off when we tell... And he's not even going to go into the where the dino is. Uh, it's like the one thing that Lanacor is there for is dino, but whatever. Thunder God will tank him. It's fine. <laughs> that's a good chunk of gold, though. Look at that. <clears throat> that's getting us closer to what we need for a tower. So, think happy thoughts. Either gold or EXP. That's what we're... Oh, what, that, that, am I thinking? I wasn't thinking, was I? We gotta level up our uh, ninja. I wasn't paying attention to that, was I? Naughty. Almost forgot we had ninja. Alright. So let's see what we got. Cats are uh, targeting a bird outside. Can you guys hear the cat chirps? <laughs> Probably not. I don't have a, that powerful of a mic. Alright. Looking good. Looking good. Get a few more of these out there. I didn't get enough EXP to level, so it's fine. Let's do any 
two victories so far, right? Two victories. One loss. So far, so good. Of course, we prefer zero losses, but... It's E. We're doing E. And I'm so far... Uh, they took up my tower again. I hate when they do that. Oh, stupid griffins. Shortly, though, we'll be leveling up all our towers and focusing solely on our towers. So, that won't be an issue shortly. We are going to stop this shenanigans. It's interesting that, uh, Engineer decided to go for the trees, but, you know, whatever. Not too much damage to that tower, so we're fine. <coughs> which is good, because the trees actually went over here and attacked there, which segmented them. Which then gave time for everything to work out. What the heck is going on? Did we lose connection here? Uh, we potentially lost uh, interwebs connection. Or, uh, oh, come on. We we're gonna beat this E. <sighs> yeah, we potentially lost connection to the interwebs. No, take a look at, we got connection on the other screens to uh, YouTube and stuff like that, but we lost connection to the game server. That's a, it doesn't happen to me too often. So, either they're applying a patch and kicked us out, or we got disconnected for some odd reason. Oh well, I guess, uh, We'll have to cut this one a little short due to game interruption. Let's see, maybe maybe we can just try and reconnect. Can we? I'm going to hop over here fast. You guys can see some of the stuff I'm running on the bottom of my screen. And I'm going to try and uh, see what's going on for some other stuff. You can see what time it is. Alright, so give me a second to uh, check out some... Uh, stuff. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I don't know. We lost connection. <coughs> I lost connection just to uh, this. That's sad. Even end battle won't do anything. Well, we'll uh, come back to this later, I guess. Then. So this is going to be a uh, two-parter. Uh, we'll try and... That's what happens when you... Sometimes... Uh, I, this happened last night to a whole bunch of me and my guildies. Last night we all lost connection to the game, too. Guess it's happening again. This morning. It's the risk of playing a game that uses a internet connection. So, we'll come back to it later. I was hoping to build something else, but, uh... We'll see what we can do. We'll have to... Well, this one quits for the time being. Yep. See you guys shortly. See you guys shortly. Uh, have a good ones. Have a good ones. So we're back. We're back. We're back, and we're back again. Apparently, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to merge those two later. Uh, merges with the one that we did earlier. Nah, you guys will see it as uh, hopefully uh, seamless. So. Uh, yeah, we lost connection for just a moment, and it looks like some of my uh, other people in my guild lost connection too, so... It looks like it just wasn't me. It looks like it was the game server that lost connection for a moment there, but it's back! It's back! Yay! We only lost connection for, like, a few minutes, so it wasn't really that long. So the game uh, people did good and brought it back, but it does suck. We lost one of our uh, attempts. And that shouldn't even count, man. That's not a loss. We were doing good. <laughs> uh, but that happens. That happens. It does. 
I know other people have ran into it where, you know, you're doing the Hereby Monsters and, oh, the game servers go down for just a moment. It happened to me last night, like I was saying earlier. And now it happened again this morning. Maybe they're having some small issues or something. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully we don't have any more interruptions. <laughs> it's not good when we get any interruptions. But here we go, here we go. Let's do this. Alright, I don't think we're missing anything. Uh, how are we coming along on that EXP? We didn't really get much because uh, we lost it due to uh, network connection loss to the game server. And it was only to the game server. YouTube, uh, Pandora, everything else is still connecting and pinging out to other systems. I was doing, I got multiple screens, so what you guys see on one screen is not what you're going to see on the other screens. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it wasn't on my network. But of course, when I asked the other people in my guild, Zen, about it, uh, they lost connection too. So, But uh, everyone seems to have regained connection, so whatever it was, it's gone now. So it's the same thing that happened last night to everyone. Evil Griffins. Rawr. Soon enough, we're going to be dealing with the Griffins much, much, much more harshly. Now, this potentially can do a little bit more damage to us because these things are now going to aggro our heroes. But it looks like they are aggroing random heroes and not just... Uh, Anyone in particular? Hopefully that dies from the towers and not from Thunder God, because I want Thunder God to remain revited up. There it goes. And it popped, too. Did some damage to our walls. A little self-destruct. Okay, I'm fine with this spawn point. I don't, I don't think that the uh, tower took too much damage. So I think we're fine. We're going to get you out of here, Lanacor. You're just not pulling your weight these days. But you'll do good in the tower. You'll do extra damage for this tower. And we'll still level you. So, yeah, I think what we're going to do is throw Lanacor up into the tower and get Ninja on the field soon. I think once Ninja is at... 50... I'll put him on the field. Maybe. Just trying to think at what point is he going to survive and not die from just random stuff. 50, I think, is a good level for a ninja to get him out here into the fray. Haven't tested uh, my editing program with uh, Fraps. Usually, uh, not with Fraps, uh, with. XSplit. Usually, I, whenever I do my editing program, I always do it with uh, Fraps. Uh, so I'm going to see how it uh, how it comes along. Hey, Lanacore tried proving that it's actually better. It actually procced. It did it on the right things, and everything was targeting Lanacore. Lanacore's like, wait, 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 wait. I do work. See, <laughs> had to prove it to me now. <laughs> Lanacore, you're trying to show that you're useful. What are you doing? Did you do that more consistently? <laughs> so. Yeah, look at that. Might just shoot up. That's because we've got lots of legends. But it's not too much of a problem. We're going to be doing okay. Might's not hurting us too much. I still find it funny that Alanacor is like, yeah, look, look, I'm a good... Don't get rid of me. Don't get rid of me. I can do it. See? <laughs> and then it's going to be the recency effect. I'll actually remember him being good. <laughs> and not remember all the times he failed me. <laughs> uh. 
No, Alanacore does serve its purpose. It just it's so RNG, random number generator based. It's so random. <sighs> Like I said, I always hate when it spawns over there. This is a very high chance that this tower is going to take a ton of damage. And just look at it, it's melting away. The tower is gone. Oh, I hate them. Evil little griffins. Do not go off again, Pumpkin Duke. Don't. Thank you. He's revited up. Yes. Okay, so this next one shouldn't be too bad. Thunder God should go off and Pumpkin Duke should go off. I don't think that this tower will drop. I could be proven wrong, and I think the damage from these little guys are going to help out a little extra. They're probably going to have an exploding thing up in there again. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't prove me wrong. This tower shouldn't go down. Yeah. Yeah, they had another exploding. Uh, I think the executioner has been the one exploding recently. This wave should be no problem should be wiped up pretty easily without us losing that. But I could be wrong, I could be wrong. What are you gonna do, Mr. Engineer? Man, ah, that's good damage. Don't kill my tower. Good. Okay. E4 has griffins. That's, a, no, that's an okay spawn, and rewrite it up on most of our things. Hopefully, Engineer comes out here for the Griffins. Griffins! I said Griffins! Look at these going the opposite direction. But, those Griffins aren't doing too much damage. Uh, they're cleaned up. Uh, we did good. We're not revited up, though, but... Except on Engineer and Alanacor. Alan uh, well, Alanacor is good to be righted up, because this has a very... This is a sliver on it, so hopefully Lanacor gets it. Get your butt out there. Get your butt out there. Don't let... Go forward, go forward, go forward. It, yes, they're attacking Lanacor. I can't... Lanacor just... I mean, he's when Lanacor does its thing, it does it well. You know, when everything's targeting Lanacor, it, it does it well. But if... It's so random, but when it does it well, it does it well. Which makes you not want to get rid of a Lanacor then. <laughs> I mean, ah! <laughs> a Lanacor is trying to prove that it's useful here, and it, you know, it, it, it's making a good argument. <sighs> Ninja's almost at the point where we can bring him in. Alrighty, alrighty. I guess we'll keep you in, a Lanacor. We'll keep you in. Just keep doing what you're doing and do it right. You did it, you know, two times. We got four victories there, I think, two losses. One of the losses we had no control over, man. And that would have been a victory, too. So I don't even, that, that shouldn't count against us. <laughs> that would have been a victory, but we got kicked out from a disconnection from the game server. Oh. If any of you guys are wondering, I'm wondering on a battery backup system, a UPS, so a universal power supply with a... A battery backup, so actually I can run with no power for about 15 minutes. So I also got uh, two ISP connections, so I got redundancy. And I got all this cool stuff, but I lost connection to the game server. But it wasn't just me, it was everyone in my guild who got kicked out, so bleh. Grr. I want more. I want my E back. I deserve another attempt. <laughs> I shouldn't count. <laughs> but all our people are alive. We can farm some gold and get that going. And I think we should do that because we really need our towers to be higher. Really need these towers to survive. These towers are our heavy hitters. And this one's going to have soon... Uh, an additional damage bonus to it, so if we get enough gold for that, that'd be lovely. So let's see what we can do here. Fifty thousand is yeah, yeah. Eighty thousand is better. 
It's a little spread out, but it's sort of clumped. So let's go with the uh, the clumped area and maybe back out at the other area. Because we don't have to get the gold from the one way over here. We can just get the gold from all these and then back out. As long as they don't kill an engineer. Engineer's running his butt around, apparently. Oh, engineer. You're a green level hero. You can only take a little bit of damage. So far, so good. Ooh, Thunder Guy got it from a distance. Now we're, all we're looking for is for them to turn and hit this and we can back out. Back out. We got it. Alright, let's keep farming gold like that and we'll be up in no time. So, quickly, quickly, get the gold. Quickly, quickly. 100k. I will take that. It is doable. Alright. Line of core should proc. Uh, nothing. <laughs> But, uh, Thunder God, boom. Ah, man, Thunder God's really powerful. You can see that he's destroying their base. I love it when, like, Thunder God procs and takes out, like, five bases. It's awesome. Alright, so how are we looking? We just need that last little smidge, but... Yeah, Pumpkin Duke's about to die. We don't want Pumpkin Duke dead. We'll take a little bit less. We don't want a loss. Because Pumpkin Duke helps us uh, farm faster. 100k, 100k. Uh, it's coming from this end. I think if we just put a Lanacore right here in the center, that should be good. Yeah. Lanacore should be taking all the damage. We should be able to burst out of here now. With a ton of energy from Pumpkin Duke getting the stacks up. Potentially. There we go. Get some more stacks. There we go. Now we're building up our damage. I love just watching Pumpkin Duke go off and go off again. It's just, and then how everything just runs around. We just destroy everything. It's just, Pumpkin Duke is awesome. And then Pumpkin Duke combined with uh, Cupid. Oh, it's lovely. Very lovely. Look at all that gold, man. We're farming quite well. Potentially. Whoa! Look at the amount of gold there. Nice. Okay. Um, they don't have too much in terms of what they can do for damage against us, so we should do a full clear here. Let's uh, get Lanacore up in here to get aggro from Druid and everything else. And we should really be able to boost everything here. This, sh this shouldn't be any issue. So, I, I know how I was telling you guys earlier, blah, 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 that we we're going to be for 5,200 for farming. If not the case anymore, since we've got, uh, w since we're leveling another legend. And I don't think we're going to dump might. We could potentially dump might if we wanted to. But I don't see a reason to because we're not having issues with farming. That's sort of... Uh, with Smurfs, you only want to dump might if you're having issue with farming. And I'm, I'm not. As you can see, we're getting gold fairly quickly. It, there's no issue. We're running through it. And we're not really dying. So I don't see a reason to dump the might. If we were having issue, we could dump might, but right now, nah. Look at this, this is beautiful. Oh, this person knows how to donate gold and mana. I really didn't need the mana. I love it when there's like 200k gold. It's, oh, that's good stuff. So hopefully I'll have my video give letting you guys have free shots at my uh, smurf for gold because my smurf can get three million gold in like no time at all it's just like so easy for my smurf to get gold and I want to help you guys out because I attack bases on my smurf to get additional e exp and my, I'm capped out on gold and mana it's, I don't need anything I don't need any gold or mana so I'm figuring 
Uh, why don't I share it with you guys? Be a nice guy, right? <laughs> And uh, this one, we got the... We can back up. We don't need to steal their mana from them. All right, we're capped out. Uh, we can't get uh, these, but we can get this going. <laughs> Man, that's it. we farmed gold fairly quickly there. That was awesome. So... Or we could spend just a few gems and get that. Just a few. How many gems would it take? 37? Yeah... Really, if these towers are up at the end, we're, we're doing really good. I shouldn't, though. I should level these. How, how many days would that take? Eight days? Yeah, it's a bit more time. This is only seven or four? Four? There. Yeah, I guess. And this also gives us additional range to... Uh, which one? Which one? Uh, this side... Stays up longer, potentially. We want to give more protection to this one, so we should get this one going. All right, there we go. Well, have a good one. Have a good one, peeps. We'll be seeing you again shortly. And uh, yeah, we got a ninja. We'll get that going, and uh, we'll be destroying more. See you soon. See you soon. Have a good one. Have a good one.